Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a super cute card to show you today and this goes back to the ink blowing technique that I showed you in my Wait What? Wednesday tip video. We are going to make this little monster card today and we're going to be using the same technique just in a little different way. Here's the inside of our card and I hope that you... Um, got yourself the Balloon Adventures bundle because Wednesday was the last day to do that. If you didn't, you can use other greetings for this, so don't panic. Also, um, the Star Punch retired too, so I know, bummer, right? I'm going to get set up so we can get started. Okay, so we are going to start with a card base that is Bermuda Bay. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Well, wow, that score line looks really not very straight, does it? We'll make it straight. That's what we do. <laughs> then we've got a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. This is for the inside of our card. A piece of Shimmery White that is four and three quarters by three and a half. Basic Black that is four and seven eighths by three and Five eighths, so this is just going to be a tiny little sliver bigger than our shimmery white piece. And then some scraps. Lemon Lime Twist, brand new in color. I think it's like close to my favorite. Um, a scrap of Bermuda Bay and also a scrap of shimmery white. Okay, we're going to do our technique first here. The ink blowing. And I'm just going to put out a drop of Bermuda Bay. A drop of Lemon Lime Twist and then I've got two aqua painters here now you could use the same aqua painter and just clean it off in between and that would be fine I just put a few drops of water in here and I'm gonna do the same thing whoops well we're gonna see if that turns out okay it looks like I didn't clean my aqua painter when I used orange in it, so we'll see how this works. It may be kind of goofy looking, but you'll get the idea. I'm taking just a regular straw and I'm going to load this aqua painter up so that it's got a lot of liquid in it. And then I'm going to start kind of up here in the corner. I'm going to lay my aqua painter down and I'm going to blow the color onto my card, onto my layer. Gonna get some more in there. Now see how I blew those legs of my little monster out? Once you get some puddles going, just blow them down your card. And now I'm gonna come in with the lemon lime twist. I'm going to do just a little bit more of the Bermuda Bay. Okay, and this is the start of our monster. Now, if you want your monster to be a little bit more um, intense in color, you would use just a little bit less water. And I'm going to pick up some of this water here. I would normally just set this aside to dry, but I want to keep making this card for you so we can get it finished. All right, we are done with the aqua painters and the reinkers. And now we're going to come in with some eyeballs. I've got seven millimeter googly eyes here. I always write on my little containers that I pour them in what size I'm using because it never fails. I'll run out of them and then I want the same size that I had before, but I don't know what size they were because I don't have the packaging anymore, right? 
So I just write on there seven millimeters so I know what to buy next time. Just a dot of liquid glue and I'm going to set my little googly eyes down here. Isn't this cute? Whoops. Get that back over here. I think we're going to have some problems with it sticking because it's wet. And I think that's exactly what's going on here. So I'll just put a little bit more glue in. So let your layers dry a little bit before you continue on. Okay, so we've got our monster done. I'm going to set that aside. Next, I'm going to bring in my inside layer and stamp my inside greeting. And of course, if you don't have the Balloon Adventures bundle, you can just use any greetings that will fit or be appropriate for your card. That would be fine. And Memento Black. And I'm using the scrap here. I'm just going to stamp my Let's Celebrate. This card is really quick and easy. I'm going to bring in my Banner Punch. And I think this time I'm going to use this top banner. On the card that I made earlier, I used the bottom banner. But we'll try using this top one. And I've got this ready to roll. And then we need our stars. The Medium Star Punch. We need a... Bermuda Bay Star and a Lemon Lime Twist Star. And now we're going to get our dimensionals out. Here's how I did this. I put dimensionals on the back of my stars. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring my star in and glue it, I mean my banner, I'm going to bring my banner in and glue it to my star. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back, whoops that's kind of a lot, less is always better. And I'm going to glue my banner right in here, just like that. And then I put another dimensional in the middle of my banner. I'm going to Put this down on the front of our card, just like this. And then I'm going to bring this other star in and put it right here. And if you want, you can put a little bit of glue on the star and glue your banner onto that. Okay, so everything's popped up on dimensionals. And then all we need to do is put our card together. Again, the shimmery white works really, really good for this technique that uses a lot of water because it's less um, porous than regular cardstock. And I see I'm going to have some trouble with my eyeballs. So make sure you let your card dry before you try this at home. Don't try this at home. Yes, I want you to try this at home. If you make some of these ink blowing cards, I would love to see them. If you um, can, you can load them up on my Facebook page. If you're a um, customer that has purchased from me, you should be in my Facebook VIP page. That's a special group of my customers that I share all kinds of great stuff with. And if you haven't, you can still share on my regular Facebook page, it's um, a stamp above your creative coach. So I've got my dimensionals on. I put dimensionals under this layer. And last, we're just going to add the inside to our card. Now hang tight because I have a couple other versions to show you of my monsters. Oh, isn't that just adorable? And every single one is going to turn out a little bit different. Let me grab some more of these. I made a whole bunch of them. I couldn't stop myself. It was like a disease. I don't know. But they are just adorable. And I will show you. How about this one? Flirty Flamingo and Lemon Lime Twist. And this is a card for a girl. It's your birthday. I used the little flower punch that's on the Tree Builder punch. I used the flower image 
to do this. And again, I'm still using the um, Balloon Adventure stamp set. Cute, cute, cute. And if you happen to miss my other cards, here is um, the ink blowing. And boy, doesn't that look different. You can use it and get this kind of design, or you can use it and make monsters. I think this would be cool in red, white, and blue too, kind of like um, fireworks blowing up in the sky. So ugh, there's another idea. This is my shadow box. If you didn't see this, you check out my blog on May 30th. I've got a video on there showing you how to make this. And then here's one more that I did that I showed you on Wednesday with my Wait What? Wednesday tip video. And this looks completely different from this. So it's all about how much water you put in, how close you hold it, how hard you blow your straw, all kinds of um, little elements there that make each one of these unique. So thanks for stamping with me today. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, right down here in this bottom right corner is a button that says subscribe. Make sure you click on that. And if you'd like to get some more information about my online VIP club, this is a club where when you place an order with me um, during the month, I will send you the technique card that we make and also this instruction sheet with the technique on it. So you get something in the mail from me each month. There are details on my blog that tell you exactly what's involved in that. You can be any place in the United States to be in my VIP club and it gets you all kinds of good little benefits. So if you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. I'd be happy to send you a catalog. Also, make sure you go check out my blog, www.stampabove.com. We have a brand new catalog. Um, just came out yesterday, June 1st, and it is pretty amazing. Lots of fun stuff in there. I can't wait to get my first order. And don't forget, stamp up your envelopes. Make those envelopes match your cards. That's always fun to get something fun in the mail like that. Have yourself an amazing week and add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.